Good morning, love of Christ. Hey, it is Youth Dude Caleb, and I am here with the children's message. And I am super excited this morning because we are talking about one of my all-time favorite parables, the parable of the Good Samaritan. And the, this parable makes me think of this question. Who is your biggest enemy? Like, who is your arch enemy in your life? Maybe it's a coworker for the adults and they just drive you bonkers and you just want to bop them on the head. Maybe, maybe students, it's a, it's a friend at school or a bully at school who's just not very nice to you and you just don't like him very much. And, and today's parable, um, really talks about how do we treat other people? And I was thinking, like, who's some of the biggest the biggest enemies or the biggest rivals um, that I can think of and being from Wisconsin, living here in in the state of Minnesota, the Vikings and the Packers. Ugh, ugh, the Vikings. Oh my goodness, talk about arch enemy. I hate those guys. Not actually hate, but they're 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 an enemy of the Packers. They're the biggest rival. There's this there's this. I want to win and beat these guys. And I I was thinking about the Vikings and Packers rivalry, and, and I was thinking about today's parable, and I was like, man, if I was if I was driving, and my car broke down, and I was dressed in all Packers gear, would a Vikings fan stop and help me? Would a Vikings fan, or or if you were a Vikings fan, would a Packers fan stop to help you on the side of the road? And I don't know, I would hope so. But sometimes there's these rivalries, and, and in today's story, these enemies, they were way bigger enemies than than even Packers and Vikings fans. And the enemy stopped to help his enemy. The, the guy stopped to help his enemy. Not even like the pastor or, or the really awesome righteous man stopped to help this guy, but, but the enemy did. And it, it was making me think, man, what kind of love is that? That even an enemy would stop and be kind and show compassion and love to someone. And that's the kind of love that we are supposed to have, that you are supposed to have, that even to our enemies, we can show love and show kindness and compassion and help them. Um, and I think that's that's our challenge for you and for me today is is who can you show love to, even if you don't like them, even if they drive you bonkers, even if you're angry at them, even if they're your arch enemy, we're called to still show people love. Can you guys pray with me, please? Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you, Jesus, for for dying on a cross for us. Even though we didn't deserve it, God, you still showed us that love. And you set the perfect example of how to love those, even those who are our enemies. We love you, Jesus. And all God's people said, amen. Have a great day, everybody. And remember, go pack, go. (laughs) Ha ha! God bless. Jesus loves you. Bye.